Welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today in the studio, we have the Asus Rogue Ally handheld gaming console. And we've been waiting for this thing to land. We ordered it weeks ago. And the reason being is because we have a whole plan around this video. And it doesn't necessarily center around benchmarking or uh, maybe FPS gaming scores and stuff like that. Really what we want to do is build the ultimate gaming experience around a handheld gaming console. And so that's what we're going to do. Um, we're not going to pit this up against like the uh, One X Player 2, which in my opinion is more of an apples to apples comparison because they're both Windows based. Uh, and we're not going to compare it to like the Nintendo Switch OLED, which is not apples to apples in my opinion, or the Steam Deck, which is closer, but eh, not so much. Uh, so that's what we're going to do with this particular console. We're going to unbox it. We're going to take a look at the chassis, the ports, and all that. Uh, but after that, we're going to start unboxing some other peripherals that we think will go really nicely with this and uh, make an ultimate gaming experience around this particular handheld console. And then uh, I'll have some final thoughts at the end. And then in the... Um, in the comments, uh, what do you think? Does it uh, fit the bill? Is it portable? Maybe. Uh, so we'll see what happens. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we unbox this, I want to quickly go over the specs of this particular unit. It comes with Windows 11, like I mentioned before, but it also has a 7-inch 1080p Full HD touchscreen display at 120 hertz refresh rate and AMD FreeSync. It has AMD's Ryzen Z1 Extreme processor on Zen 4 architecture. That's 8 core, 16 threads. It has AMD RDNA 3 architecture-based graphics, 4 gigs of VRAM, and 12 compute units. 16 gigs of LPDDR5 6400. RAM, 512 NVMe, PCIe 4, M.2 SSD, and I know there's a mini uh, SSD card slot uh, for more storage, so that's pretty nice as well. This is going to be important for our setup today. It has a 65 watt HDMI adapter for external monitors. It also has a the port for the R ROG XG Mobile. Um, if you want to run the console off of a more powerful GPU, uh, unfortunately we don't have that today. So, uh, but it, it can't. We it does have the port for it. So just FYI, um, it also has uh, the Rogue Ally dual fans, dust filters, and heat pipes to keep the console cool while playing AAA games. Comes with a 65 watt USB C power adapter, which Asus boasts will charge this gaming console from 0 to 50% in just 30 minutes. Uh, that's pretty incredible. Comes with Armory Crate, just like the Asus Gaming Laptops, and this will allow you to fine-tune your gaming experience based on the game you're playing or what you're doing. And I say that because Asus is lightly marketing the Ally, not just as a handheld gaming rig, but also as a mini PC. Uh, you be the judge. Has Wi-Fi 6E, has Windows Hello with the biometric fingerprint reader, and then the speakers are a Dolby Atmos with Smart Amp. So, uh, with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the unboxing.
Fisher, Spider Cop spies his destination. A second surveillance tower. Are you narrating yourself? What? No! Of course not! The Chief never did understand Spider Cop. All right, well, that is it. Um, did all this stuff in combination with the Asus Rogue Ally uh, create the ultimate gaming system on the go? No. Um, was it fun to put together? You bet. And uh, did I get some value out of it? I did. Um, would something like this in combination with each other, uh, what would the target audience be? The only thing I could think of is a potential, you know, potentially students in college um, could have a rig like this. It's small, it's compact, it can fit on a desk pretty easily in a dorm or something. And uh, I guess that's where the uh, where Aces comes in and says you can use this as a PC as well, and you can. Uh, so maybe that's it. And then you grab it out of the dock and you go to lunch and you play a couple of video games before your next class. I don't know. Uh, there might be something there. Anyway, um, like I said before, all of this cost around $1,700. Uh, it was a combination of Best Buy, Amazon, and such. And um, I don't know, I think you could probably get a pretty decent uh, laptop uh, for that kind of money that can play uh, games at a higher FPS. Um, so uh, there's that as well. Anyway, we did enjoy ourselves putting this together, and I hope you did too. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pike, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. Helps the channel. Not only that, gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. And for that, we thank you. We'll see you in the next one.